Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome again to my YouTube channel, Eric Broadus YouTube. Again, I say welcome to Eric Broadus YouTube. And on tonight's video, um, talking about um, some more military content. And for tonight's video, um, I'm going to call it, What is the Cost of a Military Career? Again, um, title of the video is, what is the cost of a military career? Now, um, why am I bringing this up and what brought me to this particular topic? Well, um, sometimes for individuals that have never served in the, um, in the armed forces, you know, or the military, you know, people have their um, different opinions and that they are entitled to. And I mean, like I said, it's no shade of hate, you know what I'm saying, one way or another, but I'm just, just want to give, shed some light on something, and sometimes, um, civilians that have never served, they may say things like, well, the military gave you this, the military gave you that, or they took care of you, you know, they provide you with, um, you know, food, shelter, you know, clothing, and, you know, they give you, um, certain benefits, but, um, sometimes, individuals don't really understand or take into account that there is a cost for everything you know there is a cost for everything you know and in the military um, when and anybody that's actually served they'll know this and then this is my guard and reserve people too you know that um, Uncle Sam doesn't give you anything you know um, you earn it you know, whether you have to pay up front or whether you got to pay on the back end. Either way, um, you know, there's a price and there is a cost. And for everything um, that a so-called military member gets, you know, or a veteran gets after they get out, there's a dollar amount that is attached to that. And what I want to be sure that I set the record straight for all, you know, my um, brothers and sisters you know, at arms, those that have um, served before me, that served with me, and that are serving after, that servicemen and service women, they earn um, what they get, you know. And what is the cost of a military career? And when I talk about the cost, um, I'm talking about what does, what do you, what must you consider before embarking on a journey? in a career in the military. Now, um, it's understood that, um, yeah, sure, um, we do get certain housing allowances, um, you know, obviously we get a base pay, in which, which we should. I mean, I mean, what do you want? You want um, men and women to be serving for free? Or, you know, so will we just get a, a, a cot? You know what I'm saying? You know, um, what, a, a warm blanket and, you know, a can of beans? You know, if we're serving our country, then we should be compensated and paid for. You know, we, we, should, we should receive a paycheck just like anybody else that's on the, um, on the outside. And no, um, for the record, the military does not give servicemen and women anything. We earn it. You know, now, um, obviously Congress does their budget, you know. Um, fit the fiscal budget each year in which they allot for um, funds, you know. And granted, um, yeah, sure, is it taxpayers' money? But remember, those service men and women, they pay taxes also. So um, it's actually, you know, um, part of their money or our money going into the pot or the stash. But let me get on to my, my real point. Um, what is the cost of a military career? Well, number one, for those that um, desire to have a career in the military, these are some things that um, you want to consider. Um, this going to be, there may be at times, um, an infringement on your freedom. Whereas on the civilian side, 